Welcome everyone to the third Dark Souls 3 PvP tournament. This is the old Demon King Cup. On the left, we have the Fantastic. On the right, we have Radin Kurdu. You two may begin round one. And as always, I'm your host, KH Knight. Hopefully we get to see some pretty good fights this tournament. I'm pretty excited. Looks like we're getting to see the first uh, sorcery build ever. Looks like he's using the uh, the Ivalith Catalyst, the catalyst that increases the strength of dark magic. Now, out of all the different magic types, we don't get to see dark magic that often, so hopefully we get to see it shine with Radin. He's using regular magic so far. Now hopefully he'll pull out the Dark Edge or the Affinity and take advantage of the uh, Ivalith's Catalyst uh, Dark Magic buff. Oh! That was so close, he nearly lost all his health. Fantastic landed a pretty good combo on Radin. He has to be very careful against that L2 from the Black Knight Glaive. Ooh, bad. That was a really bad move. And Frantastic wins round one, GG. Round two, begin. Wow, he's got Pyromancy too? Wow, that did not do any damage. Ooh, no, he was too far away for that L2 to land. Things are not looking good for Radin. The Chaos Bed did get buffed last patch, but it's still not fast enough for it to land at that distance. Radin has to find a way to apply pressure without putting himself in danger. Oh, if he takes one or two of those throwing knives, it'll be over for him. All right, Rat is being very patient. He knows he can't afford to take another hit. Ooh, bad trade. And the Fantastic wins round two. GG. Round three, begin. Can Rad and make a comeback? He's using fists now. This is very odd. I hope he's not giving up the match. Oh, Demon's Fist. There we go. I don't know if it's going to work in this matchup, but oh my god, whoa! And Radins and Fran flying. Unfortunately, the combo didn't do that much damage. But hopefully it shook up Fran a bit. Th threw him off his game. Uh oh, Bran just took another big combo. God, that combo is deadly. Oh, Firestorm! Oh, it did not land. And now Rad is... Whoa! That was an amazing jump. Did not land, though. Uh, Rad and tried to punch with a backstab, but that also did not land. And Fantastic wins round one. He is moving on to the semifinals. GG! Match number two. On the left, we have Adan 960. On the right, we have Legends of Evil. You two may begin round one.
Fight! We got the Red Hilted Halberd versus the Gargoyle Spear. This should be an interesting matchup. Both of them have good poking attacks. Red Hilted Halberd has a Perseverance skill, so he can tank through hits. But the Gargoyle Spear's L2 is pretty powerful. He can take out a huge chunk of the dance health if he's not careful. Morian Blade in the left hand. I wonder if that'll do anything for him. And Legends of Evil wins round one, GG. Round two, begin. Once again, Legends of Evil has the Mooring Blade on the left hand. I'm not sure what the benefit is. He must know something that I don't. Wow, that combo! L2, what was it? L2, 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 then R1? That was a really quick round. And round two goes to Legends of Evil. GG. Round three, Idan needs to win this round to make a comeback. Begin. And it looks like he's changing up his uh, build or his weapon selection. I must, uh, I mean, pulling out the Murakumo. Definitely taking advantage of the hyper armor. Doesn't look like Legends is gonna switch his weapon. And I think that's, uh. Uh oh. I was going to say the uh, Spear has the matchup advantage on the Great Swords, but it looks like Edan's weapon swap is working out for him. So who knows if Legends will switch weapons or not. Uh oh, it looks like the health is even now. Uh oh. Ah, uh, Edan cannot afford to take that trade. He got sloppy there. And Legends is moving on to the semifinals. GG. Match number three, we have Bandar Red on the left versus Timid Bully on the right. You two may begin round one. Fight. And it looks like we got a pyromancy build versus a physical build. Looks like Bandar just put on the red moss to avoid getting uh, bleed damage. Ooh. Looks like Timid Bully knows how to cancel his pyromancies. That will definitely help him in this fight because the pyromancies are really slow. Nice use of the Witch's Locks by Bandar. As long as he keeps his distance, he can just cheese out Bandar with the Fire Surge. Looks like Bandar's having a really hard time landing a hit with that Great Club. It's just too slow. Hopefully he has another weapon he can switch to. Oh, no, it missed. His Charger too missed. Bandar is really close to losing this round. Can he turn things around? He's, he's gonna have to switch weapons. That great club is never gonna hit with the way that Timid Bully's playing. He has just way too much stamina. He can just roll all day. And Timid Bully wins round one, GG. Round two, you may begin. And it looks like Bandar switching up his weapons. Now he's got the uh, Astora Gravesword, I think? Not entirely sure, but hopefully it'll be fast enough to take on Timid Bully's Pyro build. Oh, that's the Profane Sword. 
the weapon you get from Pontus Sullivan. And when he does the L2, it puts on a fire buff. I wonder what Timmy Bully's fire defense is. It'd be pretty ironic if he had low fire defense on a pyro build. Ooh, nice fireball by Timid Bully. Got him with the lava that came out after the initial hit. So far, Timid Bully is doing... He's playing a really good zoning game against Bandar. These great weapons are just not working out for Bandar. If Bandar wants to win, he's going to have to pull out a, a faster weapon, like a long sword or a curved sword. Timid Bully is just dancing circles around Bandar. Ah, and it looks like this might be it for Bandar. He has to switch weapons or just pull out a projectile like a bow and arrow. Ooh. This is going to be really close for Bandar. Ah! And Timid Bully wins round two. GG. Round three. You two may begin. All right. Bandar needs his win if he wants to make a comeback. Can he do it? Looks like he's switching to a sword and shield setup. Using a shield that can block fire. Ooh, backstab! Yes! Alright, he's blocking that fire damage pretty well. Looks like Bandar might be able to turn things around after all. Uh-oh, he broke his guard. Bully did not go in for the Rapasso. Oh, and another backstab. Alright, all, all Bandar needs to do is just stay aggressive and just get one more hit in. Yes! And Bandar wins round three. GG. Round number four, you two may begin. All right, looks like Bandar's uh, weapon swap really helped him out in that last round. Now can he keep it up and continue to win rounds? Okay, okay, Timid Bully's doing the right thing, using the whip to bypass uh, Bandar's shield. Pretty good strategy. If he keeps up the aggression, he may be able to break his guard and then go in for a uh, riposte. Ooh, both players are almost down to 50% health. Ooh, nice fireball by Timid Bully. Looks like this might be it for Bandar. Oh! And Timid Bully wins round four and match three. He is moving on to the semifinals. GG. Match number four. On the left, we have MSK Light. On the right, we have Motohead. You two may begin round one. Oh, look at that disco ball. Disco ball raining down Fahrenheit, or Crystal Hail, I mean. And MSK Light is using the Dancer's Twin Swords. This is a really interesting matchup. Really, really odd builds. Whoa, that parry was so awesome. Both players aren't being too aggressive with each other. It looks like they're just testing out each other's builds, seeing what they're capable of. MSK Light just took a pretty big hit. 
Ooh. Oh, that spin, that spin to win. All right. Both players are doing pretty good so far. A little bit of magic, a little bit of uh, physical hits. And Motohead wins round one, GG. Round two, begin. All right, both players were just testing each other out that last round. Now it's time for them to fight serious. Ooh, Soul Grave Sword. If I were MSK Light, I would have just rolled past it and hit him with a roll attack. Ooh. I'm liking the weapon variety on MSK Light. It's got a weapon for every type of situation. Ooh, bad trade. Oh, he got the spin to win! Spin to win! Oh, I missed. All right, now he's pulling out the scythe. Looks like he's got the, ooh! He took that L2 pretty hard. No, I'm sorry, that was the R2. He took the R2 pretty hard. Now he's got the spell parry shield out. I don't know if he can parry the green light beams though. Ah, and Motohead wins round two, GG. Round number three, can MSK Light make a comeback? You two may begin. Oh, Ferret's Gravesword, this is unexpected. I don't know if that weapon is a good choice. If MSK Light isn't careful, he can easily be punished. That weapon could be pretty slow sometimes. And here comes the disco ball again. None of the shots landed, though. Uh-oh. Ah! Motorhead missed the parry. Ooh! Solid R2 by MSK Light. Uh-oh. Took two, two pretty big hits. Ah, he cannot go for that trade. He shouldn't have done that. Alrighty, Mode Ahead is moving on to the semifinals. GG. Now it's time for the first semifinal match. We have Fantastic versus Legends of Evil. You two may begin round one. And Legends lands the first hit with the throwing bomb. Who's gonna make the first swing? And it's Legends. Both players being very patient with each other. Both of them are waiting for each other to make a mistake so that the way the other one can capitalize. I think if either of them pulls out a faster weapon, they'll have the one up on the other guy. Legends does have that mooring blade, but it doesn't look like he's using it for offense. He's just using it kind of as a backup. Ooh! Nice use of the hyper armor. Oh, 
both players still being patient with each other. Looks like Fran is just testing his opponent, trying to find a weakness. Now Legends is using the same weapon that Fran used on Rad in the last, in the first round. Will Fran pull out the same weapon? Will we have a mirror match? Uh oh, the combo! God, no player can afford to take that hit. Because once they take that first initial hit, they're going to take that combo and it's going to wreck them. They just can't afford to take a single hit from that Black Knight Glaive. Ah, Legends could have punched him right there, but he did two rolls instead of one. And it's over. Fantastic wins round one. GG. Round two, begin. All right. Doesn't look like Legends is gonna change up his uh, his weapon setup. He's just gonna try again with the same weapon setup as round one. Will it work out? because it doesn't look like uh, Fran needs to change his weapon. That Black Knight Glaive is a solid choice. Both players are getting pretty close to the border. All right. They're still playing pretty patient with each other. Neither of them wants to be super aggressive. Ooh, Legends tried to tank the hit with the super armor, but, but it doesn't look like the uh, super armor worked. He still, he still got the hidden, though. Now he's using the uh, L2 special buff. Gives him more damage and a slightly different R2. But will he actually take advantage of it? He has to be very careful because if he misses, he can easily be punished. Ooh, nice hit. All right, friend, friend was able to land a hit, but he, he ended up getting interrupted by his opponent. And so he wasn't able to land his combo. If he ends up taking another hit like that, it may be over for him. Oh, oh, here comes the combo. Oh, it was enough to finish him off, though. Legends is still in it. Can he win this round? Both players using the Gargoyle Spear. And Fran wins round two, GG. Round number three, begin. Can Legends make a comeback? He's been playing pretty, uh, pretty patiently in the last two rounds, playing very slowly, but I think that's been working against him. 
Maybe if he tries a more aggressive playstyle, he might be able to turn things around. But we shall see. And both players try to take a trade, and it looks like uh, Legends won the trade. the combo but it looks like uh, Legends was too slow to uh, punish him he keeps using that uh, weapon art for the Yorm Great Machete but he's not being aggressive enough to really take advantage of it the damage buff is, is pretty minor the, the main benefit from the weapon art is the uh, the changed R2 the uh, buffed R2 animation It looked like it should have hit, but it didn't. Legends did some pretty good damage with that Morning Blade in the first match he played in. I'm surprised he's not using it more. Might give him the speed advantage he needs. Now, he is using a quality build, so if he wants to, he could switch to any weapon that's a... Uh, a quality weapon and switch things up but it doesn't look like he's gonna do that he's gonna stick to his guns stick to what he's used to and as always Fran is playing pretty patiently uh, even if he loses this round uh, he can still he still has a good chance of winning the entire match because he just needs one more round win. So unlike Legends, he's not really feeling too much pressure. All right, here comes the combo. Will it finish him? Nope. This is a pretty close game. Now would be a great time to use those throwing weapons like the Kukri or the throwing bomb. Can Legends pull through? Oh yes! And Legends makes a comeback! He is... <clears throat> Legends has won round three, GG. Round number four, begin. Will Legend win the next two rounds and move on to the finals? Or will Fran defeat him here and now? Looks like both players are being a little more aggressive with each other. This should make the fight a lot more interesting. Or perhaps I spoke too soon. Both players are keeping their distance once again. Legend's doing good so far. That machete has some amazing range. Ooh. 
Oh, we missed. He took a pretty big hit. Wow, looks like that hit just clipped Fran. He probably thought he was far away. Uh, he, he was far, far enough away, but he wasn't. To really take on that your machete, you just gotta just dodge through it, roll inward, uh, anticipate the second attack, dodge past that, and then make your counter hit. I don't think Fran was expecting to land that hit. If he had landed the uh, full combo, his L2 combo, it would have been over for Legends. Legends is lucky Fran didn't keep attacking. trade and legends wins round four gg round number five who will win and move on to the finals fran or legends begin doesn't look like either player is going to change up their setup uh fran does have the gargoyle spear which in my opinion has the advantage on the uh, great machete but Looks like he's just going to stick to the Black Knight Glaive. It's been a solid weapon for him th uh, throughout most of the tournament, but it looks like Legends is finally starting to adapt. If Fran has any surprises, now would be the time to pull him out. Pull out the, tr the, the trump card. Now both players are using the spear. How will this go down? Ooh! Nice rolling R1 by Fran. Doesn't look like both, uh, both players have enough throwing items to keep up the pressure from a distance. Oh, things are not looking good for Fran. If he takes one more hit, it'll be over for him. Will Legends move on to the finals? Or will Fran shut him down one last time? The Gothards! Here comes the trump card! This is what we've been waiting for. Oh my god, this is not good. The Gothard is not something you want to... The old... What is that? The Wolf Sword! Ooh! And Legends is moving on to the finals, GG! Nice weapon swap at the end.
the second semi-final match, we have Timid Bully versus Motohead. You two may begin round one. Whoa, Dark Magic. The first time we've seen Dark Magic in a tournament. Whoa, look at the tracking on those things. Pyromancer versus Sorcery build. I've never seen this matchup before. This should be really interesting. Yeah, we don't get enough mage builds in Dark Souls 3, which is kind of disappointing. But hopefully we'll see them a lot more after the last patch, because the last patch did buff um, most of the uh, magics in the game. It made them slightly stronger and faster, which is definitely what they needed. Both players playing a pretty even game of offense and defense. They're coming in, doing some uh, hit and runs. Being aggressive and passive. Oh, this is not looking good for Motorhead. Ooh, and Tim and Bully wins round one, GG. Round number two, begin. Now, Timid Bully is a Pyromancer, which means he has 40 faith, uh, 40, 40 uh, intelligence. So if he wanted to, he could pull out some Abyss magic himself. Some Dark Pyromancies, for example, like the Black Serpent or the Black Fireball. It'd be pretty interesting to see some dark magic versus dark magic. Alright, now Motorhead, he's switching it up, pulling up some more offensive magic like the Fair and Flash Sword. <clears throat> but if he really wants to land it, he's gonna have to get in from really close. Ooh, nice old greatsword hit. Caught Timmy Bully right on the roll. Such a flashy fight. Light, light and magic flying everywhere. Alright, looks like Timid Bully's on the defense. If he keeps rolling, he's gonna eventually run out of stamina. And then he'll be left wide open to uh, Motorhead's attacks. Ooh, Motorhead mistimed his roll, took a took a pretty big hit from that whip. Lost over 300 points of health. Looks like he's relying pretty heavily on his greatsword. He's not really using his sorcery all that much. Oh, this is not looking good. Again, a little too far out. Come back into the ring. He's weighing his options, not sure what to do. And Moto Ahead loses round two. All right, GG, Timid Bully. Round number three, can Moto make a comeback? Begin. Uh, hopefully we'll see him use his magic more. And the Disco Ball is back. I was waiting for it to return. I wonder if that, uh, that Greatsword is the only weapon Motorhead has. Yeah, hopefully he has something else like the, the Crystal Rapier. Or another magic infused weapon. Ooh, kind of right on the roll. Masterful use of the uh, fireball by Timid. All 
Right, Motorhead. Oh, Motorhead is all out of FP. Looks like he got a little too reckless with his FP use. Oh, no. looks like I was wrong. He still has some left. Can he turn things around or will this round go to Timid? Ooh. And Tim and Bully is moving on to the finals. GG. It is time for the final match. Who will win the old Demon King Cup? Legends of Evil or Timid Bully? You two may begin round one. So we have a quality build versus a pyromancy build. And no, it looks like Legends of Evil just, what is that? I think he casted a magic barrier. I'm not sure if that will work against pyromancy though, but we'll see. The best way to take on a, uh, a mage build, a mage build of, of any type, is to play very aggressively with them. Just get in and whack them as they're casting. Because even after the last patch, some of the spells are still pretty slow. I think Legends of Evil understands Timid's uh, fireball strategy. He knows that sometimes he'll throw down a fireball to uh, punish players who get in too close. And Legends wins round one, GG. Round two, begin. And once again, it looks like Legends of Evil is casting Magic Barrier. Or you know what? Maybe that's uh, Flash Sweat. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Because it doesn't have the, uh, the circle-y effect around his body. It just looks like uh, a blue blur. Oh yeah, that's definitely Flash Sweat. That, that L2 from Timmy Bully's Whip did not do as much damage as it should have. So single hits uh, from Timid Bully's arsenal aren't going to do a lot of damage while he has Flash Sweat on. So what Timid Bully should do is just be more aggressive, go in and land in a uh, quick combo with his uh, Falchion. Ooh, bad jump. Yes, yes, good combo. He has to play very carefully. If he mistimes a roll, he'll take a hit. And he might be able he might not be able to survive another hit. Ooh. Uh oh. Farron Flash Sword. Onikiri. Wow! Amazing L2 by Legends. That was a great kill. GG. Round three begin. Can Timid Bully make a comeback? Hopefully he has some type of trump card, something he can pull out. Ooh, the Bursting Fireball. Now, for those of you who may not know, the Bursting Fireball did get buffed last patch. Its spread was increased and its damage was increased. But will it be enough to win this match? Whoa, the Chaos Bed. Oh, Kimmy Bully missed, missed the perfect opportunity to punish Legends. He completely missed that spear. All he had to do is just either roll past him or just back up enough where it wouldn't hit him and then punish him with the chaos bed. Ugh. Oh. 
Timid Bully is, is getting pretty low on, on FP. You have to be very careful. Can Timid make a comeback without FP? He doesn't have enough health to trade. Ah! And Legends has won the old Demon King Cup! Congratulations! Congratulations, Legends. Concludes the third Dark Souls the three PvP tournament. Um, I really like how we got to see some more build variety of this tournament. We got to see some mages, we got to see the pyromancy in action, the sorcery in action, and even some dark magic. I'm hoping for the future tournaments that we'll uh, get to see even more magic. You know, Dark Souls 1 used to be full of, of sorcery builds and melee builds, but it feels like in Dark Souls 3 all you really ever see are melee builds. And I'm not going to lie, it does get stale after a while, so I'm really hoping that we get more players with uh, mage builds in the future. And um, that's all I really have to say. Congratulations to the winner, Legends of Evil, and uh, GG to everyone else who participated. And of course, as always, thank you to the audience for watching. You know, I wouldn't be doing these tournaments without your support. Alright, so uh, later. Peace.